Hello everyone. So I bet that you thought because I haven't made a video in a while, I forgot some holidays, right? Wrong. March 2nd was Dr. Seuss's birthday. And a well-known book from Dr. Seuss is Green Eggs and Ham. I'll come back to that in a second. I also have in my possession this one's good for graduation, so maybe I'll talk about it in May, June, maybe. And I also have Yertle the Turtle and other stories. So those are some of mine, but we're going to focus on green eggs and ham this time. What was the next holiday? Well, I talked about March 4th, but moving along, we've got March 14th. Anybody out there know what holiday was March 14th? Pi Day, a mathematician's holiday. Dude? Yeah. You're gonna give me some pie. I don't know if I can. I can't, I can't live on rabbit food. I see the guy any pie. Pie. I need pie. So we had an English holiday and a math holiday. And I'm gonna get to it. But let's keep going with these holidays. We've got St. Patrick's Day. We've got, this one is called Purim. It's a Jewish holiday in which Jewish people talk about the exodus from Egypt and read from the book of Esther, which is pretty cool. And it leads to my note down here, which comes in April, Pesach or Passover. And the first night of Passover is Seder. You might remember Seder dinner from my vegetarian vegan video. I'll get to that in a second as well. Moving right down the list, what's today? Today is Good Friday. And Good Friday would be nothing without what's coming up next on the 27th. Easter egg, Easter Sunday. So taking all of these things into consideration, I came up with another recipe that'll combine everything we have here, sort of. All right, so I wanted to describe these holidays that you'll see here. March 2nd, March 14th, March 17th, March 27th, and the April 22nd date. We're going to leave March 14th for the end so that it ties everything all together. March 2nd is Dr. Seuss's birthday. One of his more well-known books, Green Eggs and Ham. So, we're going to draw an egg and I'll write green next to it. All right. Moving right along, St. Patrick's Day. This is for the St. Patrick used the shamrock to talk about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, known as the Holy Trinity. This is for Ireland, and Ireland's flag is made up of three colors. orange, white, and green. So again, we've got the green of the green eggs and ham. Easter. Easter, we almost always know about eggs and the Easter egg hunt. So I'm going to draw a quick little bunny with big buck teeth to show Easter egg. Alright, that doesn't really look too much like a bunny, but you get the point with the teeth there. Pesa, or Passover, starts with Seder dinner. And on the Seder dinner plate, which is a big plate, with all these little subsections all over the place that have various meanings, one of the areas is always an egg. Now you're saying eggs are all ovals, but we've got it in three of the one, two, three, four, five holidays. How are we going to use it to describe Pi Day? 
Well, Pi Day describes the number of 3.14 and it's infinite. It's called an irrational number. Pi, represented by this symbol here, is a mathematical constant in geometry and it's used to calculate such things as area of a circle where area equals pi times the radius squared or the circumference which is the around part or perimeter of the circle and that equals two times pi times the radius. What do we know about pi? It most of the time deals with a circle if not a sphere. A circle is represented by pies, the edible food. Instead of apple and cherry and a bunch of others that are dessert pies, we're going to talk about a very special pie made with egg and this is called a quiche and here is what you're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil it says two medium yellow onions. I have one large yellow onion. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper. One cup of chopped parsley. I'm not sure if this is a cup, but the people I'm cooking for don't really like it. So I'm just using what's in this package here four eggs or five eggs in this case and I'm using a variety it's whatever I've got in stock also three quarters of a cup of whole milk or it can be substituted with half and half eight ounces of grated cheese or shredded cheese half a teaspoon of nutmeg and one pie crust. I've got a large pie crust and then these cute little tiny pie crusts in case there's any extra batter. In a large mixing bowl, we are going to beat our five eggs. I should be checking the eggs in a separate container, but what the hey. So I just bang them out into this bowl and then spun them around. <laughs> While that's beating, I can measure out my cheese. I have a couple different kinds of cheese because I like to have a variety in anything that I make. To make veggies easier to cut, pop them in the microwave for a few seconds. Obviously, I didn't do this.
direction of the growth to remove them from the stem. of my mini pie shells and one of the large pie shell. So once the oven is preheated, then we can stick these in and get ready to eat. Since I wanted to make these look extra special for St. Patrick's Day, I got some green food coloring here. I'm just gonna spread that about but if I wanted the green eggs to be very green for Dr. Seuss's birthday, I could spin it with the batter and make it really green. I've just sprinkled some olive oil on top for a little bit extra browning. About 20 minutes in, half the cook time, I spun the quiches around and added a tinfoil tent. Here's the finished product. So if you look back at our chart here that we hand wrote, we have eggs for green eggs and ham of Dr. Seuss. We have green for the green eggs and for St. Patrick's Day. We have more eggs for Easter and Pesach or Seder of Passover. Then we chose a pie to represent Pi Day for the mathematical constant. So there you have it, five holidays all wrapped up in this one food item. I hope you liked it. And next year I plan to do a little bit more about the various holidays, especially Pi Day. There's so many of my favorite videos out there on YouTube already talking about it. So I hope to reiterate them. Well, I hope you liked this video and I hope you will click down below and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.